In this video, I show you how to upgrade the Shotcut video editor to the latest version. If this video helps you, please remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to Ubitronics. On this channel, I help you understand open source software by making it simple. So let's start by opening up the Shotcut video editor, and if for any reason you don't have it installed yet, then consider clicking on the top right hand corner um, link now and that will take you to my video of how to install Shotcut from um, from scratch. So assuming that you do have it installed, um, this is the screen that you get when you first log in. I don't know if you noticed, but just down here, there was a little pop up that said there's a new version um, available. Now that's disappeared, I missed it. So if you come up to your help and then click upgrade, and then click yes it's going to come up just down here again now click there before it disappears and that will take you to the latest version of shotcut on your chosen web browser and this should automatically select the correct version for you so click on to download the latest version for me at the moment is 20.9 you'll obviously or are likely to have a different version of that when you come to upgrade so just um, just bear in mind that those numbers may not be exactly the same but here we are, it takes you to the screen that you're probably well aware of. Um, you need to know if you're on a 64-bit or a 32-bit. So if you're not sure if you're on a 64 or 32-bit, then check out my um, how to install video and that will uh, go into all of the details on how to find out what bit rate your machine is. Mine's a 64, so I'm going to click onto the installer there. And your installer should automatically start downloading. Now, if it doesn't do that, then just be wary. This is actually an advert. It's made to try and trick you. So you actually want the download links that are down here. Um, and if you didn't automatically download, then you need to select the correct one. Um, it's exactly the same as the previous page, but just a different kind of format. So I want the 64-bit and the installer, not the portable version. That will start downloading in the bottom left-hand corner. Once that's done, it may automatically open. If not, you can click on open file. It's gonna ask you for admin privileges, so you click yes. And then this installer will be exactly the same as your um, previous installation of Shotcut. So you click I agree. You can change the location if you'd like to. And then on this occasion, we want to remove old program files, so you don't want multiple versions of Shotcut. Unless you do know that you want multiple versions, I would suggest keeping this ticked, so then um, you'll remove all the old versions and you'll only have access to the latest version of Shotcut. Click Install. Now it's come up with this error. This is actually quite common. It's because I've actually got Shotcut open at the moment. So if I close that down, and then click retry. It should install absolutely fine. Of course, if you don't have Shotcut open at this stage, then that error shouldn't pop up at all. Now that's completed, click close. And I'm going to close the web browser because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to reopen Shotcut to see that we've got the latest version. So to check that you've got the latest version, come up to help and then about Shotcut. This pop-up box should highlight that it's got the latest version installed, which was 20.9, um, which we just looked at in the previous couple of um, couple of web pages. Now, the other way to check is to click on Help and to click on Upgrade, and then click Yes, and you are running the latest version of Shotcut, so you know there is no newer version available. Now, if this video has helped you, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.